here, people. What's up, y'all? Brucey Brothers here, and uh, we actually got a chance to catch up with the Columbia Brew Bus and uh, go on one of their tours this past weekend, and um, it was a pretty awesome experience. Yeah, definitely. They uh, start out where they'll pick you up at a particular location in the Vista. So uh, you start out your uh, tour essentially there. They do a head count real quick, and uh, you hop on the bus. Yeah, make sure everybody's there. You know, call, do a little roll call. Fire duty. And essentially, you hop on the bus, and what's cool, cool is if there's anybody there that hasn't, uh, that, that are tourists for, you know, obviously don't reside in Columbia, they'll actually swing by and show you the, the stadium and, you know, a few things. Even swing by the State House because it's right there, and uh, just kind of give you a taste of, of Columbia sightseeing. But uh, our first stop actually was River Rat Brewery. And at River Rat, you get uh, what, six, we got six samples. Yeah. Yeah, essentially, their, uh, their flight. Includes six four ounce pours. Yeah, so we got six four ounce pours. Um, so it was pretty awesome. There, um, they had their milk stout on tap at that time. Yep. It was like an imperial, like ten eleven percent. It was freaking awesome. Yeah, they had their uh, metal man, their double IPA, their hazelnut brown, the Kolsch, their Kolsch red. Yeah, and their red. Ale. And I believe yeah. that six. If not, fact check it. You know, you check one more. If not add one more. Um, we get the flights. Uh, Logan, one of our favorite um employees there. Um. Uh, poured us up some flights and um, kind of took time to tell us a little bit about each beer and obviously tell us what beer was which because you have a flight of six and if you don't you can't really identify them all by color unless you're really that familiar with it of course right. um, but um, we got uh, a little intro on the beer yeah exactly he took time down to <clears throat> for people that are new to uh, River Rat and hadn't been there before exactly what style of beer it was what uh, malts hops and uh, what they should really taste when trying out that beer tour uh, to the back of the brewery. Right, right. And there, Andrew took us back, told us about the barrels they had laying out for some uh, barrel-aged beer that they were having in the future. Um, walk you through, showing you, you know, where the grain mill is, the brew kettle, the mash tun, and the fermenters. It just goes through the whole process, and it's kind of like a walkthrough. It's, a, it's yeah. kind of like a long... It's like a U. It's like a U-shape, so yeah. it was a cool experience there. We're here on the brew bus. Just stopped at River Rat. One of three, complete. One of three. We still got a couple more stops to make. People got to start coming in behind us. It's been good. It's been yeah. fun. Yeah. Two more it's stops. Been very fun. You ready? Yep. After we left River Rat, we went to Conquest. Yep. And uh, they, yeah. had, they had a <laughs> they had a Casey hot dogs there for some snacks. So we were able to get some some food in there. And um, what was it? A flight of yeah, it was a flight of four. Um, and then you've got a eight ounce, which was considered your torpor. There you go. And uh, so what's cool about uh, Conquest is they're Columbia's first brewery. Yes. Uh, they do a lot of different things. Is they 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 make a lot of different unique beers and they experiment with a lot of different yeah, styles. Yeah. So there's always something new on tap. Yeah. So you, you've always got something in there that even if you're a local and you visit once a week, there's going to be something new on tap. Yeah, almost every time. Yeah. And um, so, so essentially we. Um, did our uh, did our flights, and then uh, Jeff, who is actually um, in the tasting room, he took us back on a brew tour. Right, right. And it's kind of like an open brew tour. It's, it's pretty cool. It's not so um, linear, linear as um, oh, it's, it's not as linear as uh, River mind. Rats, but it was. Um, it's more open. You know, obviously at River Rats, you can ask the questions too. But Conquest, it was really like a open discussion type setting, and it was um, it was really cool. You know, got to learn a lot about their process, which is a little more manual. Which yeah. is awesome, you know, they have the smaller uh, mash tons. But it was, um, Jeff did a great job telling us about it. We got to walk through, look at the, the cooler where they store the kegs. Yep. You know, and uh, stuff like that. So, so yeah. They showed us uh, some of their limited bottles as far as with their Harlequin, um, their finisher from this year, um, all three versions. So a lot of people were excited to see that. Yeah. And then, of course, they, uh, at every single place, 
you have the choice to uh, buy some swag. Yes. You can pick up some bombers. You can get a growler fill. And on the brew bus, they have a cooler that you can store that stuff in so that right. way it doesn't get hot when you uh, before you get home. We got back on the bus, and our last stop out of the three breweries this time was uh, Swamp Cabbage. Uh, Swamp Cabbage is one of Columbia's newest breweries. It is the newest. Right. Well, well yeah, it is the newest. Not one of the newest. And they are, I believe, also the largest brewery in Columbia. Um, they currently do kegs only. Uh, I think they're looking at future uh, either cans or bottles. But we got a chance to visit them. And similar to Conquest, they gave us a choice of two different flights. Once again, uh, you can pick your favorite. And along with that, they also did another uh, eight ounce tour pour. So. Tour pour. And uh, we got to hang out in, in the um, little picnic table area on the inside, which is cool. Which has got two rooms that the tasting room, and then there's a room adjacent to it that you can sit down. And you got to sit there and um, obviously do your flight first and experience the beer. And then you, you got to choose. You see, and that's what's cool. You do the flight and then choose which one you like the most. Right. And then you can get your, your tour, tour pour, pour. Of, of said beer. And um, Today's keyword. Tour, tour pour. pour. And similar to Conquest, the same setup, it, it was kind of like a more free range tour, you know, essentially because it's, it's kind of everything centered. You can't really walk through per se. Right. Um, but it was pretty cool. The tanks are huge. So uh, after our last brewery, we hopped back on the bus. Of course, there were uh, snacks, potato chips, and water to help uh, sober everybody up before yeah. they head back. And home. I, I hardly remember. Being I, I will say everybody was pretty sauce. Yeah, you want to you want to do this twice or three times. That way, the last because the last brewery you're not <laughs> going to remember. You're not yeah. going to remember. Yeah, you know. So you want to get a, a flip flop effect on that. But um, yeah, overall, man, it was really awesome. And I think it, especially for somebody. I mean, it's cool because it can be appreciated by someone that loves craft beer and someone that doesn't know anything about it, at least right. locally, or it hasn't been to the breweries because you get to visit them all. You don't have to drive to them. You get a little taste of everything, and it's all one price, which is not bad, 50 bucks. No. Shit, dude, and bro. newcomers, it's a great thing, like you said. Yeah, Somebody, and tourists, of course, obviously. Right. You know. If you're afraid to go somewhere and, and try a beer that... Yeah. If you're used to drinking macro yeah. beers. I know some people that are intimidated yeah. to go to breweries and stuff. Like, I don't want right. to stand out or something. Just didn't do that. I mean, it's... This one, you could be t totally... Naive, ignorant yeah. to the whole beer process and beer drinking. And it, it'll... It, and you'll feel cool. at home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what's cool. It's really welcoming and and, and the bus driver was awesome. Yeah. He's a cool guy. Apparently, if you still drink too much and you feel you're not safe to drive home... They can get you a driver. He, he was also a cab driver, so yeah. uh, he can get you home, mm -hmm. which is great. But uh, after great that, we, we in our case, we went back to World of Beer, and they offer a discount price if you want to try a, a, a beer there after your... Uh, brew tour. Really? Uh, I don't even remember yeah. that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. even remember that. I, really? Yeah. Damn. I would have even called it. Say that? Damn. 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 Goes to I do not remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so you get a discounted beer. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. They that's offer a awesome. discount because you did the brew tour. Right. Whatever location they picked you up at, that's a location that will provide nice. you that discount. Nice. So, that's pretty that's exciting. Right. So, yeah. if you want to have another beer that you possibly didn't have during the brew tour, you're also going to get a good deal on that when you get back. So yeah, we had a great time. Uh, we really appreciate getting called out, you know, to um, to experience the brew tour. I think it was yeah. pretty freaking awesome. Um, we look forward to doing it again. As weird as it sounds, even though we've done it once, because it was fun. We, you can get groups of friends together and do it, and, and you can get discounted rates if you yep. get a group of eight or more. So you can get a you can fill I that mean, bus up, a, fill it up, yeah, man. Um, so there you have it, um, and hopefully, you know, you learn something about the brew bus. Yeah. So check it out if you haven't been there. Go on their website. It's ColumbiaBrewBus.com. Uh, you can visit them on Facebook, same thing, Columbia yeah, Brew Bus, think Twitter, Twitter um, they're everywhere. So yeah, essentially yeah. all your social media, just look up Columbia Brew Bus. Yeah, it's the only one. Right. You live in Columbia and you haven't done it, definitely do it. If you're not from Columbia, Come if you plan on visiting, definitely make it one Absolutely. of those must-dos. And let us know. While you're you here. know, we might join you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so maybe you learn something, maybe you won't. <laughs>